they don't stop. Oh, 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 oh. And we are back. Yes, it's that time. We're back. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're all having a great weekend so far. As always, just got to give a quick shout out for that amazing intro to the brave, bold, and beautiful, none other than Bruce. God, gender. <laughs> Come on. Who's messing with the controls? Goose, stop messing with the control. I listen. I did. That's uh, uh, whatever. Because it's not Bruce fucking Jenner, it's Caitlyn! Alright, alright, we know, I get it, I get it, we get it, enough, enough. Alright, so let's move right along. Thank you guys so much for coming back. <sighs> and it's not getting any better. I'm sorry, I wish I could say it was, but it's only getting worse in today's episode of Epic Woke TikTok Fails. TikTok mm. is degenerate trash. Uh, Correct. That is the truest statement I've heard all day. However, I do have some good news. We are going to start it off on the right foot. Before I do, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Become a part of the greatest community on the YouTubes. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you guys think. All right. So, what are we starting out with today? We have a little compilation of the happy dog dance now if you're new to the channel and you're wondering well what the hell's going on here why is there a happy dog dance going on on uh woke tiktok fails video well well listen we like to try to start it off with something nice something happy something positive something warm and fuzzy here before we take a dive straight down into the bowels of hell so we started off like this <laughs> it doesn't get much better roll the film Happy, happy, happy guy. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy guy. Oh, just a look at that. A happy, oh, the happy dog. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy. Good, my happy, happy guy. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy guy. Oh, just a look at that. A happy, oh, the happy dog. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy. Good, my happy, happy guy. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy guy. Oh, just a look at that. A happy, oh, the happy dog. Oh, just a happy. Okay, that was fun. I could watch the happy dog dance all day long. However, we got to get down to business here. And like I said, this is where we get in to the bowels of hell. This is where it gets bad. So turn back now or forever. Hold your peace. You guys know I can't do this alone. So if you tried your head with me, thank you. I'm grateful to each and every one of you. This is an ad on TikTok. This is an ad on TikTok. Okay, roll it. I always thought communism was boring until I downloaded Adventure Communist. I'm not the type of person to have games on my phone, but man, this game's addicting. The goal of the game is to manage a mock communist state while growing your own potato farm into a colony. All of this can be done with just a few clicks. Sounds fun, right? Swipe left to download. Oh, hands. Are we the baddies? <laughs> no, we're definitely not. So yeah, now they're advertising communist games on these apps not shocking at all uh let's move right along all right this next guy i feel bad for this guy he's been uh this kid he's been he's been lied to misinformed uh just roll it you'll see Oh, I can't believe I have to say this, but January 6th was a big deal, okay? It was one of the worst attacks on America in history, okay? So it just boggles my mind that so many conservatives are trying to play this down as hugs and kisses or a simple break-in. No, this was awful. This is one of the worst attacks on the Capitol since the Civil War, okay? So don't believe the hype. This needs to have serious, serious consequences for everyone involved, including the person that called the attack. So dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Fans, but you are a stupid asshole. <laughs> okay, okay. No need for the name calling, but like, come on, really? 9 11, Pearl Harbor, uh, all last summer's. I, I don't even need to get into it. You guys know we're not idiots. Was it a big deal? Yeah, of course, but wh what are these people getting charged with? Trespassing? Uh, okay. <laughs> Moving right along. Up next, we have our teacher feature from yesterday. Remember, this was the teacher feature from yesterday. This person said, I don't know if it, I think, 
I'll say this person from yesterday said they are a fourth grade teacher. Fourth grade teacher. Remember that. Now, I didn't. I played a couple clips of this person yesterday. I did not play this one. So I figured we'll give it a little look see today. Roll the film, please. White people, if you don't mind, boost this post. People of color, I have a question. I'm making an equity unit, which I referenced in my last video, and I am getting to the last week where we're going to talk about how we can make change. What can we do to change the awful system that's in place that keeps you know, some people doing fine and some people not doing so fine? They're fourth graders, but I speak pretty candidly with them, and they're really good at talking about race at this point. And what I want to do is role play. I want to role play situations that happen on the playground, in their living room, whatever, where racism comes up, and I want to role play them being a disruptor in that moment as a fourth grader. Where I'm lacking my knowledge is racist moments that happen on the playground. My experience on the playground is as a white person, and I've done some research and have ideas, but if you're uh, interested in sharing, I would love to hear what happens on the playground as a POC so that I can help my white kids step in. in you. Ladies, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Someone Wait, shut your, shut, shut, your, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Don't raise it! <laughs> oh, God. Just stop talking. Uh, how is this person, uh, how is this person in charge of fourth graders? How? Did you hear that? <laughs> I mean, is, is is this what she's, are they, is this what they's teaching to the, their class? Like, really? How dare you? Exactly. <laughs> it's unbelievable what. And these teachers are coming right out on TikTok, TikTok and, and admitting what they're teaching these young students. Oh. Uh, let's uh, just move along before I say something to get you in trouble. Okay, and this next one uh, gets the blood boiling a little bit too. Um, okay. It says, I took my daughters to a drag show and they loved it. Best day ever. Roll the film. I took my daughters to a drag show, and they loved it. Best day ever. What the hell is wrong with you people? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> a lot. A lot. Ah. Uh, amusement park, bowling alley, arcade, the beach, the lake, uh... I'm speechless. Moving right along. And up next, here's a quick TikTok of everyone's favorite politician, Nancy Pelosi. Roll the film. White Americans will have to choose between their whiteness and this democracy. <laughs> That's racism, man. I love to racism, bro. That's racist! Okay, next up... <laughs> Oh, let's see how much sense this one makes. Roll it. I know I never make left content anymore, but I just have something to say, and it's not even that big of a deal, but it's bothering me. So, I just saw a TikTok where a white woman was like, when white leftist men are being misogynistic, they say things like, white woman moment. But you know what I've seen a lot more of? White women posting white man moment. Like, you do the same thing. You do the same thing. You're all the same. <laughs> that is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You are a fucking idiot. <laughs> what? I, what? Uh, you notice this person said at the beginning, I don't post much leftist content anymore. So something so bizarre like that, she realizes saying something s so strange is obviously a leftist way of think. I don't know. I don't think like that. My bad. Moving right along. All right. Up next, we got a PSA, public service announcement. Roll the film. 
Here is a quick PSA. When I tell you my pronouns, it is not an invitation for you to give me a full dissertation on your feelings about the whole non-binary thing. When you tell me your name, I don't go off talking about my feelings about people named Brendan. I just take in that information and refer to you as such. Many folks will wait until they meet a non-binary person to do the work that it takes to find ease in using gender neutral pronouns. And because they see respecting my pronouns as work, even though it is work they have been putting off themselves, they feel entitled to a conversation conversation about it. It is not our job to catch you up. It is not even your place to have an opinion about my pronoun. I don't have an opinion about your name, Brendan. All you have to do is use have an opinion about your name, Brendan. All you have to do is use the right words. It is a lot more simple than you're making it. It is just baseline respect. I love you. You got this. What the hell did you just say? What the fuck are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? I don't what what who's Brendan and first I just want to say I apologize I don't know why that kept skipping I don't, that was strange um maybe maybe they didn't want to hear that the uh <laughs> they didn't even want to listen to this what I don't what why don't you just t tell someone your your name and they can just call you by that because honestly when you come up and say my pronouns are so and so the response is usually Nobody cares! Nobody cares! Nobody cares, nobody cares. <laughs> and listen, I, I will never intentionally try to disrespect someone. But if somebody comes up to me and says, listen, you have to call me this and that. No. No, I don't. Sorry. No, I don't. Moving right along. Okay, and listen, if you guys have made it this far, we are just about done. So give yourself a round of applause, a pat on the back. You guys know I can't do it alone. So thank you for trudging ahead with me. Just a sh short, quick video today. Thank God, because I can't take much more of this. All right, it says, is there a difference between they, she, and she, they? What? All right, it says, this may be a silly question, but is there a difference between... Okay, she... So what, you're just reversing the words? No, obviously there's no difference. Let's see what the explanation is. Roll the film. Hello, I'm Asi, and I'm going to be answering this question. I apologize in advance if the camera is shaky. So there actually is kind of a difference between they, she, and she, they. In most cases, the pronoun put before the other pronoun is the set that the person using those pronouns prefers. For example, I use they, them, and she for pronouns, but I have they, she in my bio because they, them are the pronouns that I prefer more than she, her. So, for example, I would like to be referred to in a way that's like, if you met my friend Azzy, they have a cat and she likes candles. Their favorite drink is green tea, but she also likes any kind of tea. But if I used she, they, I'd probably prefer something like, if you met my friend Azzy, she has a cat and she likes candles. Their favorite drink is green tea, but she also likes any kind of tea. I hope this was helpful and have a good day. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. <laughs> None of that made even the slightest bit of sense to me. They, this person lost me in the first, like, three seconds of... Uh, thank God we're almost done. Moving right along. Wow. Okay, so this is the last video. Thank God. And I don't... I don't understand this whole thing with the driver's license. I didn't know this was a thing. I don't know if you guys do. Let's check it out. Roll the film. Oh my God. Okay. Big day, everybody. Big day. I can go get my uh, gender marker. Stop it. I can go get my gender marker changed to X on my driver's license. Okay. Okay. Not a drill. Wish me luck, everyone. All right, humility hour, everybody. The second half of this video was supposed to be me being like, hell yeah, I did it. I got uh, the gender marker on my driver's license changed to X. Apparently in my state, uh, since they're rolling out a new type of license, I am not going to get my new license for 20 business days. <laughs> so the second half of this video just looks like this. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> I don't, so, uh, I'm assuming that we're in on your driver's license. There's a spot that says M for male, F for female. You, you just get an X there. Is 
Let me know in the comments if that's what this means. I don't know how that's possible. I, I mean, they need to know. It's one of the... Uh. All right, let's end this now. My head feels like it's going to explode. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for sticking it out with me if you made it all the, all the way to the end. And listen, if you like the video, you like the community, subscribe. We got an amazing community here. We're trying to get through this together, laughing, crying. <laughs> We're in it together. So hit the subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I don't even know what to think anymore. I, I'm speechless. I'm clueless. I've definitely lost some brain cells with this one. So oh. anyway, thank you guys so, so much. So much. I'm so grateful to have you guys on this journey with me. Listen, the world's gone crazy. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Peace.